Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play the Sims 3 Hybrid Baby Challenge. We are here at the house with Jasmine, Georgia, and that's pretty much it. All the other girls are out and at school. Yeah, so <laughs> we're gonna... Georgia's sleeping right now, so we're gonna focus in on Jasmine at the moment. And we are gonna go ahead and let her do what she's doing. She was just putting down her plasma juice container. Yep, that's the name of it. And uh, now she's gonna go and use the bathroom. So we're gonna follow her like a creeper to the bathroom. Yep, that's that's my job. I, I like to creep in the bathroom. Um, so today is, I believe, a big birthday. So we're gonna be having Aubrey's birthday. And I was looking at what Aubrey needed to do. Um, I think she's done. She is done. Done zone. L done zone. So when Aubrey ages up today, there is a couple of things that we need to get done. Um, and I will go over those when that time comes. But until then, I'm not really going to focus on Aubrey. I am going to focus on just Jasmine and Georgia. Poor Georgia. Taking care of those twins was a killer. And I feel really bad because she didn't successfully get them done. Um, so they don't actually even count for us. So... We really only successfully have, so far, Aubrey and Brittany to this point. Um, Brittany still has quite a bit of time before she ages, so we have a little bit of time before we have to really worry about, you know, what's going to be happening with her. Um, and then Aubrey is done, and she's aging today, and then we get to say probably goodbye to her in this episode. So this will be a goodbye to Aubrey today, and it's going to be a bittersweet goodbye because I have had Aubrey since the very, very beginning of this LP, and... Uh, Hadaloop! I've really fallen in love with her, um, but I think now it's time that, you know, mom is, you know, like at the point where the house is getting kind of full, and she's ready for Aubrey to shine and move on and find her tr one true love, so that should be good, um, and then we'll get to see her pop-ups over here in the corner, and we'll see what's happening in her life, uh, we'll keep checking in with her, we'll probably visit her house once in a while, and, uh, yeah, so we'll get to do all that really fun stuff and be that really cool mom who, you know, she, who, um, Georgia wants to be. So we're not throwing a huge, huge party, but we do have the cake and we've got our balloons set and ready to go. And I don't think she really like set up a party or anything, but that's okay. Um, she is painting a portrait of someone. I'm not exactly sure whose portrait this is since it's been so very long, but it's got to be one of the girls, I'm thinking. Um, so we're going to go with that as I'm not really sure who this is. Um, so looking at what Brittany needs to complete while we're just waiting for something really big to start happening. Um, Brittany is not in an after school activity yet. That's a little bit shady. Um, yes, she is. She is in... I don't know. This is after school activities. She is in study club and music club. So she's got two for her. And that's great. Um, so I need to mark that off for Brittany. Because for some reason it's not marked off on my thing that she has any like after school activities. So let me find my pen. I wish I had like a little laptop, which I do have one, just, you know, things can't go into why I don't have it on me, but I do have one, so don't worry. Um, so she's got her after school activities. She needs to go to prom, which I don't believe she's actually done yet. Um, no, she has not went to prom, so I can't mark that off for her. Um, she has to successfully prank the school. She has to do five pranks at the house. Um, she has to learn to drive and get her portrait done. Um... So hopefully we can get all that done in 12 days. I'm pretty sure we can. I'm not going to like stress about it or anything, but that's okay. So Aubrey has met Evelyn Lynn Broke at school today. And Liam Joy is coming home after school with Brittany Newby. Um, and put that skull down, Catherine. Right now. <laughs> I think this is supposed to be her picture maybe. I'm not really sure. We'll see. Alright, it looks like George is up and... She's got a cake in her inventory. I think it was because we were supposed to do the 
twins' birthdays and all. But uh, it didn't end that way. So I put it in her inventory just to see if we could keep it for as long as possible. But we'll see. Um, let's see. All right, Brittany has sticky fingers and just stole an object. Every time she looks at it in her house, she'll remember the moment she acquired it. That is horrible. Brittany, you should not be stealing. That is just one horrible thing to do. Aubrey just got on the honor roll, so that's pretty cool. So great job, Aubrey. Feeling great for you. You're doing a really great job in this whole thing. I'm not going to even worry about making her do her homework today because it's not even important to me. I am going to get her to come home, and I am going to get you to come home. The little girls are still obviously at school. They don't come home for another hour, which I love that feature in this game. I love that the kids come home at two different hours. It gives me a little bit of time to think like, man, you know, these, the, the teenagers come home before the, the younger kids. It was never like that for me in high school. Everyone got out the so, same freaking time, but it's still the point. So we'll see what we can do with that. I do want to get Aubrey to go ahead and accept the gifts in the mail. So I think the mailbox is right behind this, and it is. So, Aubrey, why don't you go ahead and get the mail, and why don't you accept some of the gifts from the mail? That would be great. Oh, yeah, so she brought home a boy today. Oh, Mom's not going to be too happy about that, Getting bringing boys home already. She's going to be like, what the heck are you doing, girlfriend? <laughs> Her party is starting soon. A little setup might be in order. Careful chasing that, ch crossing that chasm, Daphne. Okay, so the next kid, we are. I'm gonna start taking some ideas for names. Um, uh, either you guys will give me the idea, or I will choose it myself. It's up to you guys, and that is fine. Go ahead and do your homework there, uh, sweet thing, Brittany. And while your sister's doing this, Alvaro is not a, now a toddler, so that's exciting. All right, so what is mom doing? I think she's cleaning the house, to be honest with you. It was a freaking pigsty. So I'm hoping she's all good. She does need to change her clothes. No offense, but I would not be walking around in that with in front of my kids. So let's change your clothes to your everyday one. I don't know why you have more than one, but okay. Let's see. Ah, long love seems to be eternal. George Cantina Dean was seen recently stealing a peck on the cheek from Catherine Cantina Dean. Okay. Jasmine has received an invitation to a party. No, thank you. Oh, she got her, um, what you call it? She got her driver's certificate. Certificate. All right, let's pause because Georgia needs to repair this now. Actually, it's not Georgia who needs to repair it. It's Jasmine. All right, I'm going to jump over to her while she grabs the gifts really quickly. All right, here we go. So, that one's for the Legacy Challenge. This is for Mini Mega. i um, not getting to either of those today. This is from Ann and Half. It's a message from the game. I'm going to go ahead and take it here. And we just got the swinging light. Thank you so much. We can absolutely use more lights in this house. It's going to be huge. And I can't wait to show you guys some more of it. But we haven't had enough lately to be able to do anything with it. So, thanks for the light for Aubrey. on her birthday in my <clears throat> hybrid baby challenge LP alright there we go let me go ahead and copy this because obviously that's what I've been doing lately alright so thank you so much for that it means a lot did we just take from Anne and half I think we did this is from Friendly LOL. It says, thank you for the TV. Well, you're so very welcome. And thank you for the table, the 998 table top topia phone. So thank you so much. Let me go ahead and send you back a gift as well. Here we go. It's like she's getting birthday gifts in the mail. Ha ha. So thanks for the phone. Maybe these are things that we could send with Aubrey. I don't really, I wish you could send things with them, but I don't think you can unfortunately um this is from izzy wizzy bear it says what challenges are you going to do please send a gift back and tell me what's new I'm not really sure what you mean but what challenges am i going to do but what i'm doing is hybrid baby i'm not really sure what you mean by that but if you want to elaborate and send me another gift then feel free we just got the bottled blessing of the fae so that's that's great so let's go ahead and 
Okay, let's send back to you as well. And you sent us a supernatural, so I will send you back one as well. So we got the bottled blessing of the Fae. There we go. Uh, let me write a quick message. Not sure what you mean about challenges. Okay, well, it's not going to let me write all this. Um, thanks for the bottle blessing of the Fae. Not sure what you mean is what I'm going to have to write. Hopefully you're going to understand that because uh, I don't really know how else to say it with the limited space that I have. But thank you so much for what you did send us. It means a lot. Moving on up. This is for Perfect Genetics. All right, so we are good to go. We've got all the gifts that we're going to get today, and that's great. Okay, so Jasmine wasn't just invited to a party. All right, and she got some lifetime happiness points. Um, Kirsten Briggs was seen recently investing her family's earnings in the local Everfresh Delight supermarket. Kirsten, or Kirsten had this to say, just don't let the family know yet. I uh, forgot to ask permission beforehand. You naughty, naughty girl. I felt that a new investment would benefit everyone and provide some affordable housing for my neighbors. Okay, so she bought that. And she was invited to party. Yeah, not really. Okay, so are the girls home? They are on their way home. I am going to get um, Aubrey to come into the kitchen. So go ahead and go here. I know it doesn't really look like much like a kitchen, but it's going to. <laughs> um, okay. Not everyone is, not anyone's going to a party, so does it really matter? Probably not. Alright, you're hungry, I know, but can you do your homework or no? No, okay. Well, you're just gonna have to wait then. Is she home? You don't really know. Yeah, the girls are home. Okay, so Aubrey is gonna go ahead and blow out her candles. Go ahead, Aubrey, and do what you gotta do, girlfriend. And we are going to have quite the, uh, new extravaganza to start into. All right, so Aubrey, it's your birthday. All eyes are on you, friend. Mom must have gotten you a gift, I would imagine. So I think it's the MP3 player. Is that what it was? Yeah, the iPod. Yep. Yeah. I don't know if she's going to be able to keep it, but it's worth a try, yeah. I guess. Okay, here we go. Birthday time it is. Why don't you come on over and stop being a jerk? And, yeah, you need to come over too. You need to get up out of bed. Alright, so she's blowing out those candles. Here we go. Let's see. She's disgusted by the foil, spoiled food in her inventory. It's probably that stupid cake. Yeah, so let's just sell it. There we go. First guest has arrived, and it's time to start the party. To make it a success, make sure everyone is having a good time. I didn't know he actually threw a party. I should have waited, I guess, but that's okay. I don't really see many people coming anyways, so it's not a big deal. Alright, well, there's someone else coming in. Alright. Are you going to be, like, sociable and come out here, or what? guess not. Alright, here goes Aubrey. Okay, so Aubrey is a finally a young adult with all the privileges and responsibilities of adulthood. Her future is wide open. What will she accomplish? Because of her success in school, you may choose a trait for Aubrey, which we actually can't choose. We have to randomize. So let's go ahead and randomize and see what she comes up with. Disciplined. Okay, so that's sounding pretty good, I guess. Um, this one can be canceled out because we're not going to worry about it. What does she want to do with her mom? Okay, so from this, let me look at the rules just to make sure that I'm not mistaken on what I have to do here. Um, I must have passed it. Hold on. Um... Okay, so she's not going to be leaving today because she has to graduate. But 
Um, it doesn't say anything about choosing this lifetime reward or lifetime wish, I mean. So we could choose um, being the martial arts master, reaching level 10 in the martial arts skill and obtaining the grand master rank. Don't really know how easy that would be for her to achieve on her own. So I'm going to probably say no to that. Um, the physical perfection is reach level 10 in the martial arts and athletic skills. Uh, probably not because you can't really do martial arts here unless I put something in town for it, which I could do. Um, there is Master the Painting and Guitar, which she's kind of already started on the guitar, as you can tell. Um, so that one might be easy, and I think she did some painting as well, so that one might be a good one for her. Um, she is, she wants to be the Master Acrobat, Acrobat, which would be pretty easy, just reaching the level 10 of the Acrobat career, so we could do that. Or she wants to become the Home Design Hotshot, which I know she can't do really on her own. So it's either between the Acrobat and the Master of the Arts. I would rather see her do the Master of the Arts. So I'm going to choose this for her. It says, the carefully class brush of the arte artesian can paint images that incite the humorless to laugh and the inarticulate to eloquence. The addition of skills with the stringed guitar can make your sim the envy of the community. Success isn't a given, but it is a reward that results with ingenuity and a touch of luck. So we're gonna go ahead and give her that as her lifetime wish. Um, and we're not setting booby traps. You wanna talk to your mom? That's gonna be easy. Okay, so everyone can go ahead and grab some of this cake if they want to. Okay. Is that cake stinky? Like, no good? It is no good. That's ridiculous. I kind of like what she's got going on here. I don't know. She looks different, but we're going to go change her looks in just a second. I love the little girls. They're too cute. Um... Alright, so she just threw a birthday party for... Okay, I'm not really sure why you're getting that. Liam has to go soon. Okay. Congratulations, Jasmine has just improved her handiness skill to level 4. She can now give multiple upgrades to stoves to make them better. Alright, so she just repaired our sink, which is pretty important. Um, that's fine. Uh, doesn't, like, mom get this? Okay. I was going to say, I was a little bit worried that mom wasn't going to get that little wish thing and I was a little bit worried about that she just became a young adult so that's exciting so she can move out in the world uh, before she leaves we're definitely gonna have to go through her stuff and make sure that whatever she has that we absolutely want we take it out of her inventory because I'm not sure how that works um, okay so there we go she didn't throw the birthday party and neither did you all right, everyone, stop freaking out. Are you hungry at all? Because you're not grabbing cake. No, you don't need anything. So I'm just going to let you come back over here and continue your painting. You don't really need to eat. Uh, and when you do, I will absolutely let you eat. I'm going to let you eat out of here. Why don't you go ahead and eat the... <sighs> See, this is a bad thing. I don't know what's made by who anymore because I keep forgetting. She can't eat the cake. Um, she can't eat the muffins. She can eat the pancakes or... She can eat the sushi or the salad. So salad, pancakes, or sushi. So let's go ahead and let you eat the salad. You can grab a serving out of here as well. Actually, I think you got some food, so I'm not going to worry about you. I'm not really sure if you do or not, but I'm hoping you guys do. Okay, maybe not. So go ahead and eat some of the veggie rolls, and you're getting cake. Okay, people are hitting on my sim already? That's crazy. Unknown rare seed. Okay, eat leftovers, veggie rolls. Okay, so when she's done eating, I'm going to let her come over here and we are going to go into cast mode. Go ahead and change your appearance and then I'm going to let you go ahead and plan your outfit. Looks like it's time to leave. See you. Love is blossoming between Glenn Jones and Dina Simovich, newbie. The new couple were out on the town recently, arm in arm, enjoying each other's company. So that's exciting. Mm. 
Okay, so she ate some disgusting food and she's not feeling the greatest. Okay. All right, so let's go, Aubrey. Before she gets over there, I was going to say she better not be pregnant, but before she gets over there, let me go ahead and just disable the music because I know if we get in there, it's going to blare our eardrums if I don't disable it now. She is one hot mama, so I'm excited. Uh, Tara is now a toddler. Uh, Jasmine has painted a portrait of Brittany, which is not a good portrait, so I'm going to go ahead and sell that and repaint another one. It's worth 624 simoleons. The party's starting. Daniela has finally gotten on her own two feet and became a child, which I'm not worried about either. Okay, let's go over to you. I'm going to go ahead and... No, you're not doing this. Ugh, people. Okay, so I will explain more of what has to happen when we go through her um, graduation ceremony, which should be pretty soon. Uh, I think she probably will graduate tomorrow, so... Um... I'll probably just let her do it. Holy smoke, she's beautiful. I love her. She's different. Her nose definitely is different, and it kind of is weird. But I love what she looks like. Even when she looks totally different, she is beautiful. So let's just give her a different hairstyle maybe. Um, I love this one on her. I'm not going to say I'm not going to use it. But um, I do want to just look around and see what we can kind of come up with. So I've got this one here, which is a little bit shorter. I kind of think she's going to look better with longer hair. So let's see. What else is there in here? There's this one, I think. Um, no, I don't like that. This one. There's this one, which is what I think she just had, which I think I really like on her. I might even go with it. There's this one. Uh, no. This one. I really like that on her, though. Hmm. It's always hard to choose for me. I just, I can't ever decide. Um, and since she's not going to be at her house, I'm not going to use a custom one. I'm just going to let her, like, have one of these. Because then when she ages up, she'll at least keep it. When they use, when I use these ones, she'll get some random hair and she may look just hideous. So that's what I'm going to do for the girls when they move out. They won't get any custom hair. They will just get the normal base game or uh, expansion pack hairs. Um, and that's it. That's how it works. Um, okay, let's see. There's this one. I'm going to close my office door because it's really loud down there because my husband is playing... I think The Last of Us or something. Um, let's see. Let's keep moving. This one. Oh, God, that's horrible. This one. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with that one. Um, but we could look at accessories as well. Um, in accessories, the only ones I think that would really work for her are the university ones, maybe. And I'm not even sure if they would look good on her, but maybe even these, this one here. Let's see what this one comes up as for her. Um, did I click it? Yeah, I did. She's trying to focus, I think. Um, Uh, not like a hundred percent sure on that one. I like the one that she had when she aged up the best so far. Probably going to go with it. Hmm. I really like these actually. And I can't remember what her favorite color was. I think it was green. So we're going to go with this one. I like that in her. I think she's beautiful. Um, and you guys may be like, oh my god, her nose is hideous. But you know what? Not all in-game sims can look beautiful. You know what I mean? Like, she got her traits from her parents. And so, her nose obviously comes from her father. But her big, luscious lips and her beautiful eyes come from her mother so much that 
it just like blows me away how much she looks like her mom in this and that's kind of why I'm like blown away of how cute she really is so I'm not gonna be too angry about what she came with because I think she's just beautiful so I'm just gonna give her a little bit of makeup um, she's already got this on but I'm not really sure I want her to have that one I'm thinking probably more like this maybe Mm, do I like that one? What about this one? Yeah, I like that on her. So I'm going to go with that. And let's give her a little bit on her l cheeks. Just a little bit. Just make give her a little bit of color. She's got to look beautiful when she meets her man. Because we're not going to be able to help her with finding a man. So she's going to choose whoever she wants. And unfortunately, we're just going to have to be like, okay, that's good for us. Because it's the best we're going to be able to do for her, unfortunately. Alright, so let's see. Turn this down just a little bit. Alright, um. I'm thinking that's pretty good. I think she's going to make really cute babies. And if she gets a guy with a cute nose, hopefully they'll get her beauty but his nose. So, that's the best I can do. I think she's still really gorgeous. And I'm proud of how beautiful she came out. Um, yeah, she may not have had the... I think Hal was pretty cute, though. Wasn't he? Yeah, he was pretty cute. I don't know. No. No, no, no. I want you to sell this one. Go ahead and sell that for 624 simoleons. And then I'm going to let you paint a new one of her, hopefully, in just a little bit. I've got to go. The party was nice. Okay. That's fine. Alright, so she should be changing her clothes, but I want you to go ahead and paint a portrait of Brittany. <laughs> I feel like I can never get in and out of here the way I want to. Um, and this is going to take me a while, so if you guys don't like this part, please skip past it and don't leave like nasty comments about, oh my gosh, she spent too much time in there. I'm going to try and do it as quick as possible, but I mean, I really don't know what I'm going to be able to do, how quick I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to keep that skirt on her because I really like it, but I'm going to give her a different shirt. So, let's see. I'm going to give her a green, like, nice, cute shirt. Green. Anyways. Um, let's just see if there was one in this that was green. Ah, uh, it's pink, not green. Okay. Um, let's see. Come on, let's put this on her. Yes. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Um, uh, this one maybe? <laughs> trying to match it to her band and it's getting really hard. No. That one matches. I would think. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. This, maybe? Ah. That's actually really cute together. But I'm going to keep looking. If I don't find anything, I'm going to go with that. Uh. Um, ooh, what about this one, though? This is cute. Aw, that looks really cute together. I think I'm going to go with that. So let's go with that, and then let's give her some shoes. I know she's got these shoes on, and they're really cute and all, but I want to do something a little bit more. So let's go ahead and let's see. Um, what about these ones? Because they got the little green on them, and I think that matches perfectly. So we're gonna go with that 
for formal i'm probably going to give her just like a normal dress because we're not going to be able to do a wedding for her so unfortunately that's how it's going to be so i'm just going to give her like a dress that you could wear out to like a really nice party or something and so yeah unfortunately that's kind of how it's going to have to be so let's go ahead and do this one Let's see. Is this one good? Oh my goodness. Do you see what she's wearing? <laughs> I want to know if the color of this matches that band. And I'm not really sure it's going to. So I'm kind of waiting. Hmm. It's trying to load up all this clothes. It's just going to be a little bit because <sighs> there's so much in here. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I love it. And if we could get some flats like that, maybe in black or red, that would be adorable. So let's do, let's look for some shoes for her. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. What about these? Actually, that is really cute. I'm going to look and see if those flats come in black or red. But, um, black or red, black or red, black or black or black or red, uh, it comes in red, but I really kind of like what I had on her before. So I'm going to go with those and then let me go ahead and get her sleepwear going. I'm just going to do a quick, like little outfit for her. Um, I really like the master suite stuff. I'm not sure it's going to match the headband, but at least, you know, we can come kind of close, hopefully. So, let's go with maybe something like this. Wow. That's a little exciting. Alright, so let's see. Alright, so I'm thinking maybe something like this, or... Well, that's kind of like what her mom has. It's just a little bit weird to put her in that, I feel. I don't know what to give her really. Maybe do some pink because they haven't done pink yet and it matches the bottom part so that's cute. I'm going to take these shoes off because I don't really want her to have shoes while she's sleeping. That's just kind of weird. Um, you got to remember that we're not going to be able to be there to watch her, you know, and do see what she's doing or anything like that. So everything that I'm trying to choose here and I'm going to probably do this for everyone is going to have to probably be pretty close to either um, like a base game or something like that because... I'm not going to be able to be there when she ages up to change her clothes. So we got to choose something that, you know, it would work for her when she ages up. It'll switch over properly. So that's why I'm not choosing any of my custom items. Um, unfortunately, that's just going to kind of have to have, ha kind of going to have to be that way for everyone. Um, except for people who obviously are living in the house forever. Uh, they can have whatever they want. Um, I'm just going to give her this because, I don't know, it matches the headband, I feel. And it's cute. So, I'm going to go with that. Um, swimwear. I don't want any shoes on her. I should have taken them off. But, um, for swimwear, I'm just going to give her this because it's black. It doesn't really matter. It matches everything. So, she can wear that, which is really sexy and cute. So, it's good for her. And maybe she can find a man at the pool. Uh, and then we've got our outerwear here. I'm just nervous that, you know, I'm going to throw her out there and she's not going to find anyone. I guess it's kind of what every parent so, would so. be scared about. But I think she'll be fine. Guys, reassure me that she's going to be fine. I never throw my kids out of my house. It's so sad. <laughs> like I'm about ready to break down in tears. Um, because I don't like to do this. I always like to run, you know, and have them forever. Um, so this is going to be really hard for me. And I'm already, like, getting ready to cry because I'm so scared. But I'm hoping everything will be okay. Because I'm really scared that everything... Like, that she's not going to have a family. And she's not going to get married. And she's just going to kind of, like, be that lonely old woman who sits in her house for the rest of her life and doesn't ever come back out. And I don't want that for her. I want her to have a great life. She's such a cute girl. And, like, she deserves 
a really nice, happy future. So let's hope Aubrey can do this because I'm really scared, guys. Ah, I'm so scared. Um, I also wish that she could keep her last name, but I know that story progression, if she ever does get married, story progression is going to force her to take the guy's last name, unfortunately. So that is that. I am going to let her head to bed. I don't even know which one is her bed, to be honest. Um, I think it's this one, and it is. So I'm going to let her go to sleep. She is exhausted, and uh, she's got a big day ahead of her um, tomorrow. So let me go ahead and sell her homework because we don't need her old homework anymore. Um, <clears throat> and I think that's pretty good. Um, yeah, so I'm really sad about this. Um, these rocks, I'm going to give them to Georgia uh, because that's who they're going to... That's who's going to take them. Um, not that we really need them, but we could use them for a little bit of money or something. So we'll take them before she leaves just in case. Everything else she has in here I would really like for her to take. I wish you could tell her to keep everything in her inventory. Like you had the option to take everything or let her take everything with her. Um, but I think it's going to give all this to us. And then I'm going to have all this stuff in here that I'm not going to know what to do with. I'm just going to hold on to it forever. I do want the portraits of her. I think that would be cute. But otherwise, nothing really important in the rest of it. Okay, so she made herself an outfit, which is fine. Um, Jasmine, I want you to paint a portrait of Brittany. And I want you to get it started before I let you go. She is beautiful, guys. I am in love with our little girl. She's grown up so quickly in front of our eyes. And it really does make me sad that, you know, she's at that point where she's growing up already. But she'll be fine, I'm sure. Okay, so... <sighs> I'm so sad. Um, uh, what is this? Enraw story progression script error. Enraw story progression space and scenarios flirt age up scenario flirt age up 100 true 100 100 lever dean not sim filter. I'm so confused. Oh, she's getting sick. All right, it was a modest success. Okay, lever has aged. Oh, it was him. He was having a hard time aging up, so they forced him to. All right, that's good. Good to know that things are working out. All right. So, you guys stop doing this. Paint portrait of Brittany. Brittany, if you get up off the floor, you could stop this. So, once you wake up, little one, I'm going to get you to bed. You need to do your homework, actually. So, do your homework first. Where is it? Here. Do your homework. And then, is this your bed? Yeah. Sleep. And then you, on the other hand need to do your homework and then you can sleep and you're getting your portrait done I think okay so Alvaro is now a child okay let's see let's see can you put the walls up I don't know. Probably not. Stop moving, please. Okay. Let's see. Can you please go to bed? There you go. And let's see. You go to bed. You you need to pee, my friend. So I hope you're getting that done. I'm glad you're doing the dishes. I really am, but I'd really like you to do other things. And when you get up in the morning, I am going to have to get you to do your homework. Because that's going to be pretty important. Yuri got his, improved his guitar skill. Oh yeah, I was going to look and see if she actually had anyone that she was like... She likes Jack Broke. I don't know how soon he's going to age up, though. Unfortunately... So, that's unfortunate. Mom needs to give her her gift as well. Don't worry about changing your outfit now. The party's over. And you already changed your outfit, you weirdo. You're such a weirdy. Weirdy bombadreerty. Alright. 
she worked on her homework with Catherine, so that's cute. The girls are so freaking cute. I love them. I wish they counted towards everything, but they didn't. So, unfortunately, we're kind of poops out of luck here. All right. All right, you need to stop. Georgia, are you done in this bathroom? Yes. Go ahead and stop and go ahead and use the potty quickly. And then I'm going to get you into the kitchen. You're going to eat. Aiden has reached his elder status. She worked on her homework with Daphne. So that's exciting. Okay. And I am going to get her to... Um, whoops. Not that. Have a quick meal of some plasma juice. Who passed out over here? Oh, poor girl. She's like, I aged up and now everyone's after me. Alright, so mom, are you done cleaning house? I don't think she knows what she's saying. I would like her to go here so she could give um, Aubrey her gift. So why don't you stop, mom? Why don't you come in here for a second? Falling Sims have inherited items from Natasha Paul, Donald Paul, and Dallas Shallow, and Anita McDermott. Alright, I want you to give this as a gift to... Let's see. Give this gift to Aubrey for her birthday. I know it's 1231 and, you know... Things don't always work perfectly, so unfortunately she's getting it the next day. But we still got the gift for her. We're giving it to her. That's all that matters. Natasha Paul is getting pretty old and won't live forever. Unfortunately, that means she is going to be passing away today. She wants to join the military career. All right, that was nice of her. All right, go ahead and go to sleep. Let's see. You could join the military career. I mean, it's up to you what you really want to join. So we'll let you get into it. But, I mean, you got to do your guitar and painting nonetheless. So I'm not really worried about it. All right. Why don't you go get something to eat quickly? Because you're so hungry. And I'm going to let you eat some of the leftovers. So why don't you eat some of the organic vanilla muffins? Um, and these girls, it looks like they're going to be doing they're in bed i don't know if they completed their homework and it doesn't look like she did she's at 37 she's at 17 so it looks like they just decided they were done larry cooper is getting pretty old and won't live forever um rainer no noling noling it got some items from him what a beautiful and thoughtful gift thank you so much this means so much to me well you're so very welcome your mother loves you so very much and she wishes you the best in life Honestly, I wish I could say something like that to them, but that's the best I can say it is to you guys in this video. So that's what Aubrey would be saying to her daughter when she gave her the gift, I believe. And uh, yeah, so, oh, you're up already at 151. Okay. Um, you need to go to bed, so I'm going to let you do that. Go take care of this. Receive a text from D Doug Jones. We're not worried about Doug Jones. And mom, when you're done, I'm going to let you take a shower. 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 There we go. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to have mom go to mm -hmm. bed. So, and she's done with that. When you're done, I'm going to let you go back to sleep. I don't know. What were you doing? Taking a nap? I want you to nap. I want you to sleep. Okay. And then when she gets up in the morning, hopefully she can get up and... Use the bathroom facilities before school because she is pretty stinky and stuff. Um, if she even has school, they, she may not. It may not make her go to school because of um, the graduation. So they may get to sleep in a little bit tomorrow, which would be great for all of them, I'm sure. She wants to buy a car worth ten, at least 10,000 simoleons. She also wants to see Jasmine get married. So we could totally do that. Uh, she wants to make the bed. She's such a freak. I'm just saying. A freak. Okay, so. If she could finish her homework, that would be great. But I'm not going to let her stay up past like 3.30. So, if she's not done by 3.30, she's going to bed no matter what. Unfortunately, that's not very far from now. So, it's unfortunate, but it's the truth. What is she at right now? 28%? Yeah, she's not going to get that completed. So... And my timer just went off. I was hoping to get the graduation in today, but I guess my ideas of going in and out of cast pretty quickly don't work. So unfortunately, we didn't get very far, but I'm glad to be back, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, 
I'm probably going to end it right here, and I'm going to send this poor girl to sleep. She is exhausted. Um, if you guys like this, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Um, also, in the next one, we'll be doing the graduation, and probably Aubrey will be moving out on her own. Please give me reassurance that everything is going to be okay, because I am really nervous. As you guys know, I don't have my kids move out, and it's freaking me out that, you know, things are not going to go well for her. She's just going to kind of sit in her house and do nothing. I know I've got story progression here, and I know how it works, but I'm still just really nervous. And she's such a beautiful girl. She deserves to have a great life, and she's such a sweetheart. Um, I can't wait to see what will happen with her, and I look forward to having you guys all follow me through on um, this hybrid baby. Um, so if you guys like this, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Also, feel free to check me out on my Twitch channel, which is where I do my live streams. And lately, I've been doing a lot more than normal. Um, also, feel free to come out and uh, follow me on Twitter. That would be great because... Um, it would mean a lot to me and on there I post what videos I'm recording that day and I just give you guys like updates periodically so um, I'll be updating it right after I'm done with this and letting you all know that I'm done recording the hybrid baby so if you guys like this again please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you all in my very next episode thanks very much for watching